Hello, Bear Watchers. How are you all doing? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's been a week. Actually, it's been a weird last couple of weeks. We were blaming it on the full moon. <laughs> but, you know, you can't really blame a couple of weeks on a full moon. <laughs> yeah, but it was fun because Saturday was the, the official full moon and that's when we did our Halloween. So this is what this video is going to be. It's uh, our Saturday. We started out at Sassy Scoops. They were having a, uh, what do they call it? Um, it was like a spooky event. And the yeah. Sassy Scoops, uh, we were there once. Um, and it was, they were having pop-ups at when Blush Moon was over at their other loca location off of Illinois, a little house. And uh, every time we went over there, they were all sold out. <laughs> yeah. She makes homemade ice creams and their specialty ice creams, and they were sold out all the time. So she thought, what the heck, I'm going to open up my own store, and she opened up one in town. Yeah. Uh, so, and it's been a success. But it's been open for a couple of years, and we just haven't been over there. And it's right in town. Right? Yeah. <laughs> So, so we went over there. Mary got, was it like a brain something? It was called Serial Killer. Serial Killer. Well, Serial Killer <laughs> with an A. Yeah, Killer with an A. But it had a little mini gummy brain in the center on the top. Uh-huh. And then it had, I think it was, um, I think it was. Was like, it vanilla ice cream with? With uh, cereal in it? Yeah, it was like a cereal milk ice cream, and then it had cereal, oh. cereal pieces in there. Uh -huh. I don't know if it was. It tasted to me kind of like, um, like it was the the rainbow rice crispy fruity pebbles. Like fruity pebbles, yeah. Yeah, it tasted like fruity pebbles. I think it also had some strawberry jam in there. Oh. Or something. I took a picture of the menu. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, you'll see it when it comes along. Yeah. But yeah, and Halloween Town is an annual event, which if we keep doing Halloween in Michigan, we are not going to make that event, <laughs> you know, which I'll be sad for. <laughs> But they, this year, they tried something different. They did spooky hour yeah. from 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock. So we went over there at 6, and we did our little Halloween trick-or-treating thing. And then we waited around until, you know, 7. And, um, well, at 7 o'clock, the people that were doing the trick-or-treating, giving out the candy to the kids, they had the option whether they could leave or stay and some of them did. They switched to a scary themed thing, um, but other ones just left. So it wasn't really meant for the children after seven o'clock. And it wasn't really that scary. I was gonna say, I think they expected some children to hang out, so it wasn't as like spooky as I thought it mm -hmm. would be. And, and I think, you know, this year it was kind of an experiment. Yeah, and I only saw like one or two guys um, dressed up as like, what's that? Michael Myers. Yeah, Michael Myers. That was. I was yeah. expecting a little more. Um, like, yeah, I thought maybe because there there was a whole group of people that used to dress like zombies and they would come after the train, but they they thought that was a little bit too scary for the kids. Yeah, I think so, if they did a like a specifically adult event, um, like at, maybe on a different day and time, and, and said this is for adults. Um, like, like a whole separate day. Yeah, then maybe it would work out better just so there aren't kids. That would be in. fun. That yeah, would be fun. And then they could go all out with it and then uh -huh. even like have Hoodoo Brewery or something come yeah. out. Yeah. Like, like like maybe the night before? Yeah. You know, they could do 
You know, because the Friday Halloween night. town's always on a Saturday. Yeah. They could do it like on a Friday night for just a couple of hours. I think that would be such a good yeah. idea and kind of go like Universal Studios with it a little bit. Yeah. But yeah. Like, you know, so, it doesn't have to be so, that aggressive. So hear us <laughs> out. <laughs> if we have any Pioneer Park, um, North Star Borough Parks people listening. <laughs> yeah. If you want some ideas, reach out. Yeah, yeah. We got ideas. Yeah. Actually, the Halloween Town came from my idea because I got after the parks people because, you know, that um, the train had come from. Huckleberry Railroad. Oh, and they used to do that. And, and... Or they still do that? The Huckleberry Railroad? Yeah, they do the trick-or-treat thing. Yeah, they do the trick-or-treat thing. And I told them, I said, you know, you can do something like that and you yeah. can make money. You know, this... Yeah, and they did. Yeah, they because the they're... Channel. The parks... Our parks and recreation is always, you know, trying to do fundraisers because they just don't have enough money to do the things they want to do. And things need to be repaired. Like all of those little cabins in that park, um, they're starting to shut them down because they're becoming, you know, unrepairable. Yeah. And it's sad because that's what that park was meant there for, was to keep, keep those um, cabins, you know, historical mm -hmm. to... So that way, you know, they would be there forever because they're the first cabins that were here yeah. that had meaning in the, um, in the city. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Well, this is getting long for such a short video, but I wanted to tell you all about that. And then, um, yeah, the other Michigan video, I'm still working on that because that was really short and I realized it's probably going to go up. Um, well, I thought it would go up on Halloween. This is going to go up in Halloween instead. But we're going to probably put the other one up on Friday. But it's the transition. I, I put them all together. It might be a long video. But it's the transition from Halloween to Christmas. It was phenomenally amazing to us that the Halloween, the day of Halloween, there was all this fall and Halloween stuff up. And it's like the next morning we woke up and it was Christmas. All the stores had just changed out all of that stuff overnight and all of a sudden it was Christmas. Wait, where was this? <laughs> In Michigan. Oh, okay. I yeah. Actually, so okay. when that Michigan video comes up, <laughs> you know, it's that transition. So so I figured that would be kind of appropriate to put up on Friday. So, so look for that video on Friday and then I'll have a Winter Expo video um, for the next weekend. So we'll get you to this video. This is the Halloween Town video and um, our Saturday. We'll see you later. Probably not at the end. We'll just abruptly end it again. <laughs> <laughs>
fire. Woohoo! That feels warm. Oh, you're so cute! <laughs> she, she, oh, she, <laughs> I was like, wait, you guys look familiar. <laughs> <laughs> pumpkins look like in Alaska. Frozen. Frozen sparkly <laughs> pumpkins. Happy Halloween to you! We can hook <laughs> probably one of the better hope in the movie. Oh, and you're here! Of course I am! You want to get in it? Huh. Oh, you're recording. Sure. <laughs> It's a pumpkin patch! Oh, and the skeleton! <laughs> That's so fun! What are you two doing? They're filling my pumpkin. Uh, oh, <laughs> They're dipping into the candy already. Oh, okay, she's filling up her little potion bottle here. Some colorful potion. Yep. <laughs> oh no! Can they still blow? Oh. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Just blow on it. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, they're gonna throw them away later. But if you noticed, Heather and I match. There. Okay. See, see my print? Heather's got the same print. <laughs> there, there are all kinds of people handing out stuff in here. <laughs> This is the museum. Very cool. There is a long line for the train. What time is it though? <laughs> ah, ah, everybody's messing up my Pikachu shop. Okay, we're getting in line for the train. Woohoo! There was like a warning signal. Hmm. <laughs> Very ominous. There's Mary. Ah. Look at how much snow there is.
Look who's back there. Uh-oh, we better run. Um. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Heather heard some screaming. She ran. <laughs> she was running away from us, but she ran back to us. <laughs> Heather's doing all the trick or treating. <laughs> Mary said her legs are frozen. <laughs> She's trying to stay warm. Looking for the creepy characters. <laughs> Grab that piece of candy. Um, no. <laughs> Mary, go get it. It's get it, Mary. What? Why are you? <laughs> it's a piece of candy. Mary, I'll get I it. Have a taste. <laughs> if he gets out of hand, I'll taste it. Okay. okay. <laughs> It'll be just fine. Don't go for it. They're all running away. Oh. <laughs> So Heather sorting through all the candy. <laughs> she's got a lot of candy there. This is a new one I haven't like, seen. She's putting all the ones with peanuts and nuts and things over here. It's a Rolo. <laughs> Did you see her, um, her dots? You know what Rolos are. Oh. We filled that up. I think <laughs> you that There's some new candies that she's never heard of before. Yeah. What was that? It's like a Kool-Aid. Oh yeah, it's over here, like buried. I think, yeah. Yeah, because when we went within the last couple hours of the event, they just were like throwing two handfuls each into her bag. Yeah. And there weren't really that many places mm -hmm. to trick or treat from. So. So I think yeah. people just didn't like care if you like went by again. Well, and yeah. We, we went into one of the museums, it was like a warm up spot, and one of the women there. She unzipped my coat jacket and threw a handful of candy and she's like, in, in her pocket. <laughs> so I was like, I I this is just Every time she drops something off the floor, all the dogs show up. Oh, what is this? Oh, Jolly Rancher gummies. Gummies? Yeah. Oh, oh my this. gosh. This is a big bowl. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and it's full already. Oh, here's a. That's crazy. So you can bring it to your. Your office and for your gifts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> so this is all the things Heather pulled out that she couldn't eat. And some of them are obvious. You know, Almond Joy. They got almonds in them. Peanut butter cups. They're, they've got, you know, peanut butter. But, like Kit Kat. Some of them just say that they're processed in plants with peanuts you know even though they don't have any peanut products in them um like these milky ways milky ways and the three musketeers they actually say on them that they may contain peanuts which is interesting maybe the way they're processed they can't yeah. guarantee it yeah, the only thing that we can think of is, you know, they don't clean the, um, you know, Three Musketeers. They don't clean the um, vats from one chocolate to the next, you know. So, I can see that with, you know, the Mars, Mars Milky Way products, you know, Twix. Yeah, 
So any kind of peanut allergies, and I'm sure you know people that have peanut allergies or kids and they do eat candy, um, that they they know they know which ones to pull out of there. Yeah. It's crazy. That's actually a lot more than I would have thought. Three Musketeers, Milky Ways, Kit Kats. It might not be a bad thing because the bowl that Heather ended up with it was huge. <laughs> it was huge. She had so much candy. I am so glad we didn't get, um, you know, three bags. That was just one bag. Mm -hmm. But Bean, <laughs> she's been she's been eyeing the candy because it sounds like a dog treat bag. But um, yeah, the she would um, take she would take the bag and the people would see us walking with her and and they're like oh well you got three people <laughs> they'd fill up her bag oh my gosh it was so funny so that'll last her a year though she's a hope uh, yeah i hope <laughs> funny